we just talked to you like a week ago, um, yeah. but what has maybe changed in the last week? What have you maybe learned a little bit more about some of these guys? Uh, you know, the work ethic has really come through. Um, it has attention to detail. A um, little bit more familiar with what we're doing, fundamentals, technique, scheme. Uh, and then, you know, they're just they're playing hard and having fun. You know, it's, it's pretty cool to see each day they get a little bit more confident. It looks like they're having a little bit more fun flying around, and, and uh, that's what you're looking for. How does the philosophy change from the OTAs period to now mini camp? It's really the same. It's the same schedule. We just we keep stressing fundamentals, technique, scheme, those type of things. Uh, so it's, it's really this very similar schedule. A little bit more meetings, but other than that, you know, still all the same. Have you had a moment with any particular guy, or maybe all of them together? Like, all right, I see this potential. You know, this next step kind of being taken. Yeah, you you look at uh, at really when we first started. You know. OTA one until now, it's as the unit is starting to come together a little bit more, and you know what, what Art's, you know, preaching, what we're about, our ethos, and, and everything, and, and they're really buying into what we what we're looking for, what he's looking for, you know, and then again, and I keep stressing this is the fundamentals and technique and all the things that we want to do defensively for the players to have success within the scheme. That's the most important thing. Has there have been this, Brian, when I watch your drills yesterday, you're very into it with the guys when you're doing these drills. How much does that rub off on them? Kind of just working with those guys that. Yeah, you hope it, it rubs off a lot. Um, <clears throat> you know, hopefully the passion and the intensity shows through. Um, just believe that, you know, you have to coach the game, you know, like you're playing, you know, passionate, intense. You know, it's an emotional game. Um, and that hopefully that, that shows through to the players. Guys like Bates, K uh, Calais Campbell, having their veteran presence plus the success they've had with their teams, what have you seen out here and how that translates to their teammates? You know, a lot of how they, they handle themselves. There's a lot of confidence with those two guys, you know, and, and really, and that's that's rubbing off on some of the other players where, you know, they see how, you know, Calais and, and, and really Jesse, those two guys, how, how they operate. There's some other guys that are in there, um, Anyamata and Grady's been there, you know, some, some veterans who had a lot of success, how they handle themselves, how they go about practice, their preparation, their, their meeting room uh, work ethic, you know, all those things. It helps a lot of the other guys. And, it's great to have them around, and, and, and you're seeing it definitely rub off. Campbell chose you guys over some other options. I mean, goal we get, I mean, I know you're new, but like a seven-win team yeah. on the rise. What kind of statement did that make to you guys? Well, I think he, he uh, first he, he he bought in and believed what, what Art was was teaching and uh, and believes in, and, and I think things there's a lot of similarities there, and really our whole staff. You know, we all kind of believe the same thing. You know. Uh, we're all on the same page, and I think he saw that. Um, and then also, you know, he saw, you know, possibly a team that's coming together and, and wanted to be a part of something and, and, and help, you know, a, a team that uh, might be on the way up and, and you know, kind of lead us the way, show us the way, at least with the players. Um, it was pretty cool. You know, he's he's a positive guy. You know, it's awesome. You know, he's, it's every day he's the same. You know, he's coming in, he's got a smile, he's ready to work. So. Again, it bleeds into the other, the other players and the things that we're doing. We believe in. He was telling us that, that, that you showed him something new, and he thought that it actually kind of like worked better for him. To have a guy in year 15 to be coachable and adaptable and open to trying new things, kind of like, what does that say about him at this stage in his career? Ultimate professional. You know, he's always looking to get better, find one thing, and, and all we all we want one thing a day, one thing that we can help the, the guys and the players believe in. And then for him in his in his career to trust that, and then come out here and work those things uh, is pretty cool. And again, that leads and bleeds into the other guys in the room, the first, second, third year guys, and go, hey, this is a professional who's played the game at a high level. He's he's made a lot of plays. He's been to playoffs and all this thing, and, and he's continued to work his craft to be the best player that he can possibly be. What do you enjoy most? Well, extremely thrilled uh, to have him here. Uh, it's always it's always nice. He's, you know, David has come a long way, and he has demonstrated a work out, ethic that has been tireless. Um, all the credit goes to him um, and his teammates. That, that those guys have, particularly David, has just you know busted his tail to um, learn the fundamentals and techniques that it takes to play this game at a high level. The work ethic. How he takes care of his body, you know. You, you've really seen him from uh, year two, really, to even this OTA is just, you know, he's, he's a he's a professional. He's learned how to, you know, how to do it, you know. And 
another player that's, you know, we're hoping takes another step. You know, and he, I think I think that there's still some left in him to take that step, and he's pushing for that. So uh, all those things together is pretty cool. We've heard from a couple people, Grady, Kanan come to mind about the look that you get in your eyes when you're coaching them, and they call it kind of crazy eyes. What, what's, you, what's your perspective on that? Where's well, that come just, from? It's, the, it's the passion and the intensity that I think, you know, coaching that position or really any position that um, you just have to be yourself, you know, and um, you know, just, just who, who I am and, and the things that I believe in. Um, you know, so that's, that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, he's had a good spring. He's got a really good spring. Uh, tremendous athlete. Um, he's made a lot of plays. You know, he's, he's more comfortable in what we're doing sch schematically. Um, and so you see, really, last week to this week, or excuse me, two weeks ago to this week and last week, is, I mean, he's, he's trending, you know, in the right direction. And sometimes it takes a little bit, you know, as, an, as a new scheme or some new fundamentals and new t techniques for it to blend and mesh together. That's why this time of year is so important, that if we can – you know, speed up that learning curve. And that, I think that's what you're seeing. He kind of figured it out a little bit. Hey, my body position here, I got to be here in the, in the scheme and everything. And so it's invaluable time, and he's really taking advantage of it. How much do you see kind of, Arthur was talking about his work ethic and, and how much he's a guy that just like loves to go out there and work. I mean, how much do you see, have you seen that in the last month or so? You know, uh, yes, he, he definitely does, to do, does like to do that. I think our de defensive back group, is a bunch of workers. I think our coach Jerry and Jack has is has you know implemented that in that room. Like you know, hey, we can do this. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to do more. And so I think it's a combination of the coaching staff, those two guys in that room, and the players, and they're believing in what we're doing, and they're and they're buying what what they're being coached to do. Do you have, you have any good stories from that 2016 NC State coaching staff? <laughs> Not for today. <laughs> <laughs> we can wait till all these folks leave. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What are yeah. your memories, though, specifically you and Ledford? I mean, those that sort of offensive line, defensive line thing can yeah. get fun at practice. It was a it was a special groups groups of guys. Um, there had been some guys that had played defensive line that were moved over to offensive line that added to the fuel to the fire, I would say. Yeah. Um, but it was good. You know, Dwayne's one heck of a football coach. He's always done a good job. Um, we ran the ball extremely well that year, um, you know. And then those guys on defense, you know, they they did a good job with just you know playing ball, being being tough. And but the practices were, I think, the biggest thing. The practices were tougher than the games, you know. And that's where I think the guys took the next step, you know. And, and it showed on on Saturdays when we were playing. The guys that went from you to him, did he steal them or did you send them over there? How did that work? Any, any hard feelings? Did he take a guy you needed? He probably stole one or two, maybe yeah. three. What about Huxtable on that staff? Why, why, would, why did you, you know, at this point want to bring Dave back? Yeah, believe in, believe in him, 100%. He's a really good football coach. Uh, he's coached a lot of different places at a lot of high levels and had a lot of success, a lot of good players. And so uh, with with what Arthur is, is preaching, the ethos and, and culture and, and the things that we want to build here, um, really – believe in that and Dave does as well and so it's it's a it was an easy transition for him to come in and hey this is what we're going to be about and and um, and Dave does believe in those things and and so a lot of those things were what we were doing in, in at the NC State days together so it's 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 a good marriage sorry if you've already been asked this but yesterday Calais was telling us that you tweaked something with him and he said oh wow this works better how can you describe the relationship that you guys have built so early on yeah, it's pretty special. You know, he, he's an ultimate player. You know, he's a, he's a professional that um, he wants to continue to improve his game. You know, some guys, uh, you know, they say it, but they don't you know, act on it, and he does. And, you know, and, and that's the great thing. And, I, and really a cool thing about that is the other guys in the room are seeing that. Like this, this guy who's had a lot of success, is continuing to work, wants to be just a little bit better, and they're seeing that, and, and so it's pushing them hey, you know, the, the hay's never in the barn. We're always going to keep working, always push to improvement. Um, and that's, that's what you're seeing with Clay. It's pretty cool. I'm not saying you had a preconceived notion of how he would be because he's been in the NFL for so long, but was it a pleasant surprise that he's able to be as coachable as he is? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you don't know. And, and through the process, when he came in and sat down, and within 10 minutes of just talking to him, like you knew, like this guy gets it. Like he's 
want him on this football team. Like, we have to have this guy. Um, and he's been, you know, he's been great. Everything that, you know, just the communication and uh, he's been, you know, working with the guys and he's, he's a mentor to the players already, and, you know, in the defensive line room, some on the defense. And so it's, it's been, it's been really good. When you kind of look at this defensive front, I was talking to David yesterday, and he made the comment that despite a bunch of new veterans coming in, Calais, Bud, himself, that it's still a great youth group. How do you kind of see that happening as you're out with them, working with them, that there is that level of respect among veterans, but it's yeah. kind of they're interested in learning about what Grady has done here. Yeah, you know, it, Grady's, Grady's a really good football player. And so, again, it, I think it goes to um, these guys are – they're wanting to improve their game, you know, and if they can learn something from each other and and the way that they see it, because sometimes here's the cool, cool thing about talking to a lot of these guys, particularly the, the veterans is, hey, you, you'll ask them, what, what did you see there? How did you, I, <clears throat> I didn't see it like that. Tell me, you saw it like this and then explain and we'll be in the meeting room and, <clears throat> and they'll say it and they'll be like, oh wait, I see, I, I see it now. And I think that goes along the same lines with the players, you know, talking to you. It might be at lunch or at dinner or, or at breakfast. Hey, tell me how you did this or, or how did you do that? Um, and so with all the – all the you, you see the guys talking to each other, you know, and wanting to be – just take that next step in their game and being very open to, you know, a lot of the guys that have had success, Grady and David and Calais and Bud and, you know, we get Lorenzo. We got these guys who've had, had a lot of success at the position. And if they can each learn something from each other, it's going to just make the group better. I think it was yesterday, I don't remember, uh, Bud Dupree, Arthur Smith described him as a tone setter. Mm -hmm. is, is that how you see him? Absolutely. You know, um, the intensity that he plays with, um, his tenacity, his power, you know, all that, that combination, you know, you, when he gets out there, you can, you can feel it. You know, you can, when he's coming off the edge and, or setting the edge in the run game, like you can feel that. And again, we don't have pads on, so it's, <laughs> You know, it's a little bit sometimes of like, all right, hey, that was a good job. But you don't know really until, you know, the pads get on and being around the guys for the first time. So, um, but up up until this point, it's been fantastic. Yeah. I'm Couple curious, more. Uh, if you look at your career path, how much of what you did at NC State with those guys, Chubb and Nick Evans, is that kind of your resume that really helped you along in your career? Well, so look, it, <clears throat> you try to learn from the players as much as, as they learn from you. And just the communication with those guys then and just over the years of how did you see this and, and after the year the debriefing of you know you come in and have an exit meeting and hey tell us your thoughts on on this or tell us your thoughts on that and just having them be able to have an open dialogue on all right and so then that's where the tweaking and how to make it the best for the players is the most important thing and so just the philosophy of all over the years not just one particular group but just over the time and you know <clears throat> all of the guys together and it it might be just one thing, and if that one thing can help the group, then, and then that's what we're going to do. We're going to tweak and, and continue to, to, to this the scheme and system and how we coach the guys is just continue to more every year just try to get better, you know. And so we'll we'll do the same thing with the guys this year. Already getting feedback. Hey, I like this. I li what about this? And and just c the dialogue between you know coach and players and players to players and just listening and uh, that's important in this game. Um, because there's so many different ways to do it, you know, and, and so you're just trying to find the best way that fits us. Ryan, last one. Ryan, I'm sorry if you can ask about Jesse, but has yeah. there been a moment since you've been with him that stands out of like, this is why we got this guy, whether it was a young guy that took him on the field? Yeah, not not one particular moment, but a lot of moments. Um, you know, is there something every day that just like, well, the guy's a good football player. <laughs> I mean, he saw it like this. I made this play. He's in the right body position. You know, he's very confident. Just a smart player, um, and so that combination, you know, there, there's no doubt that, you know, you, you can see why he's had the success. That just that combination, the success that he's had over his career, um, you know, and, and we'll continue to push that and, and just get him a little bit better through through the years it goes too. So appreciate it. So, all right, guys. That's all thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.